Hi everybody! This video shows you how to integrate the Vienna Symphonic Library Synchron series and our synchronized products with Sibelius Ultimate. We have prepared Sibelius sound sets that take care of articulation switches in the background automatically according to what's written in your scores. These sound sets and the Vienna Symphonic Library house style are installed by the VSL Soundset installer that can be downloaded from our website. Go to My VSL and check under Notation Related. There you can find the VSL Soundset installer for Sibelius in a Windows and a Mac version. Simply download it and then run it. Please note that Sibelius, Vienna Ensemble and the Synchron Player software should be installed before running the Soundset installer. The example you've just heard was made with synchronized Dimension Brass. Let me show you how to set up a score and a playback configuration to make this work. Let's start with a blank score. I'll pick the Vienna Symphonic Library house style. This way all instrument definitions and dictionary entries that we need for playing back the score with our libraries are loaded. Then, with Change Instruments, I will add all the instruments that I want in a particular project. In this case, I will choose the instrument Horn in F, No Key, VSL Dimension Brass, four times. So every horn part can play on its own MIDI channel. And I need a trumpet in C, VSL Dimension Brass, as well. As a side note, I'd like to mention that it's common practice that two horns get written on one staff with two voices. This would also be possible, but please note that Sibelius will always play notes on one staff on the same MIDI channel. So in this case, I'd prefer to have all horns on separate MIDI channels. For those of you thinking that they might have heard the piece from the introduction before, let me enter the title and composer quickly. As I like to have things orderly, I will also edit the instrument names in the score. Okay, let's create a playback configuration. Go to the Play Setup Playback Devices menu and click New. I will give this configuration a name that hints on the included instruments, Synchronize Dimension Horns. So I can reuse this configuration for other projects with a similar instrumentation. We don't need any pre-activated devices, so let's remove them from our configuration. As playback device, let's add Vienna Ensemble. Vienna Ensemble Pro users can of course activate Vienna Ensemble Pro instead. In this case, the Vienna Ensemble Pro server in 64-bit should be started from the Windows Start menu or Mac Applications folder before activating the plugin. Windows users, please note that you may have to point Sibelius to your VST plugin path before the plugins can be found. This can be done in the Audio Engine Options menu. After activating the device, let's choose the correct sound set for the library we want to trigger. In this case, we will need the VESY Dimension Brass sound set. If you are unsure, you can always look up the required sound set on our Sibelius integration tutorial page. If you combine instruments that need different sound sets in one playback configuration, you can simply add further Vienna ensembles to your playback configuration. In the next step, we will tell Sibelius on which MIDI channel it should play which instrument. For this step, we'll go to the Manual Soundsets page. 
There, we activate the use of manual sound sets and assign the required instruments to the corresponding MIDI channels. After this step, let's switch back to Vienna Ensemble and load our instruments there. We have five instruments in our score, so I will add five Synchron players in Vienna Ensemble. They can be added with the Insert Plugin button. If you are working with Vienna Instruments libraries, please add Vienna Instruments or Vienna Instruments Pro instances instead of the Synchron Player instances. As mentioned earlier, tidiness is half the battle. So let me enter the names for the channels quickly. In the next step, I will load the Synchron Player presets we need for our project. As a last step, let's check the MIDI channels in Vienna Ensemble. They should be exactly the same as the MIDI channels that I have used on the Sibelius Manual Soundsets page. Okay, our playback configuration is done, so let's switch back to Sibelius and save it. Remember that Sibelius saves the playback configuration in a separate file from the score, so if you make changes or additions to your instruments at any time, Always save the Sibelius playback configuration afterwards. And now, let's enter some music. Ta-da! Detailed information on how to trigger all the different articulations of our products and how to fine-tune your playback can be found in the Sibelius integration tutorial. And if you have any questions, drop us a line at support at vsl.co.at or leave a question in the comments below. Thanks for your attention. If you like this channel, you could also subscribe.